So today I'll be talking about my business. So um, it's called Ocean Springs Ocean Things. And my business purpose was to do something that I really liked and found real. And I could show my uh, creativity and imagination while doing it. So I started making jewelry and yeah, that was my business purpose. Um, or I also want to make it something that was like, not bad for the environment uh you'll see later on what i do now to like help the environment so yeah um my steps to creating my business so i kind of um uh so i started by just going out some ideas and i thought about the jewelry idea and yeah then i started collecting shells I started using a lot of shells for my jewelry. Uh, that was the main thing I done. I did, but now it's so different. Um, and yeah, so then I got my materials. I don't use any of those materials now. I use whole different things. Um, and then I started setting up social media accounts. All of this other stuff. I start websites and now I'm getting this new app where I sell and all of that stuff. What I've achieved. So I started, um, I think I've achieved getting to know jewelry better. I That sounds a bit weird. But like knowing how to make it better or whatever. Because I just started by getting this locks cord or something. And then putting wire and then thinking yeah that's jewelry but now I'm starting to make things like this I'm starting to make things like this I'm starting to make things like this so I think the difference there is quite a bit what I learned about being an entrepreneur what I learned was it well I knew this before but I didn't I needed to be a bit more patient, like not everything was going to go. I needed like to be a bit, like I needed, yeah, I just needed to be patient and not everything. You just have to put a lot of work into it, like if you want to keep it going. That's why not many businesses get big because you can't really slack off and then the ones that do just don't get the attention they need um so what my biggest challenge was was the prices I was gonna sell um like I'd see ones online um or see ones in the shop and my mum would be like oh look sell they look similar to yours you could do that you could sell these um, but they go for like twenty dollars, and like twenty dollars is way too much. Like I'm not selling my stuff for twenty dollars because I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Like you could buy, you could buy a lot of stuff for twenty dollars, but not just like a set of earrings. Like I wouldn't. I'm not sure many people would. So, um. I also had to travel with my, um, with my prices because the, uh, beads would cost so much. So I started this thing so it allowed me to make jewellery and get a good profit out of it. I started making jewellery out of, um, old pieces of old pieces of jewelry like cut it up and take the beads out of it like I went to um a charity shop the other day and bought about two necklaces for um like three dollars and with that I made this um and this is the other one I made another necklace out of it so I made that with it I made this that and I made two sets of earrings and then I also used some of my mum's old jewellery and made this which you've already seen this and 
these earrings wherever the other one is. But what? <laughs> yeah, this one and the the other ones like brown here. But so yeah. Um, now I like sell my jewelry for about three dollars or something because I don't want it to be too expensive or too cheap either. What I would do definitely next time. So I'd buy different mater materials at the start because now. They're kind of a waste because I don't use them. Well, I use some of them. I use only like, yeah. Well, I make the stuff I made out of them. I've already sent. I've um. They've already been bought. So, yeah. Um, rights and responsibilities of custom oh consumers and businesses. I think yeah, and businesses. So. What I think, so one thing I came across is when doing this, like sometimes with my early ones, there was a bit of wire sticking out. So I think the right thing, like you don't want to get wire sticking out because it can catch to your clothing or something. So the right thing to do is like to make sure, like I said, with um what I've Oh, what I've learned from being an entrepreneur is that uh, you need to have it like like right or it just doesn't matter because yeah it won't be good um and the right thing to do is not sell it for too much high either don't like go like I said go I wouldn't feel right if I buy some stuff cheap jewelry and then just cut it apart then like sell this for like $20 because I wouldn't feel right um the different types of businesses so uh, my business is like online for most people because I moved to Mississippi I don't know many people so my business is is online for that means a lot of other people will get to see it well, there's some businesses which are just like shops and all of that stuff. Um, yeah, so, yeah, uh, the different ways businesses can respond to opportunities in the market. Oh, so, when I, I, when it was like nearly Easter time, I started making this, these Easter things, um, so I think when it's because like at Christmas time loads of people will buy Christmas presents and if it's like Valentine, Valentine's Day maybe people will buy more jewellery so maybe more things related to Valentine's Day or like if it's a time of year and people wear that type of colour or whatever. So you need to take those things into account to make your business more more maybe more like successful like maybe if it's really hot type of year maybe people like to wear dangly earrings or I don't know all those type of stuff um so yeah they're the different things to take into account so yeah well um, what I think I've learned from this experience the most, like, is that I'm, the thing is, I'm going to keep on doing this business, like, even after this, um, like, after $20 boss ends, I'm going to keep on selling my stuff and keep on trying to improve myself on it because I truly really like making jewelry so I think it'd be like a waste if I just throw everything I've done in the dirt so yeah that's probably what I'm gonna do and yeah so I'm glad I've had this experience and I really hope I will con I will actually continue this well. Okay.
<laughs> Bye.